Hi everyone, I've spent many a video moaning about people not merging in turn, but in these scenarios on faster moving carriageways, it shouldn't be used. What you should be doing here is merging in good time. Do it for best traffic flow and lowest risk. So where this road narrows now, you should already be in position. In this video, we're going to watch someone not do this correctly, right next to a police car. We've just gone past a yellow sign to say the road a little touch further up is closed in lane 2. There's another one. But watch the police car behind and the Range Rover Evoque that's catching in lane 2. We've now only got 200 yards till that lane's closed. Is the Range Rover fixated on the police car and not seen? Absolutely. But it's people purposefully trying to merge at the very end on these fast moving roads which causes problems. It's not as easy to adjust speed and fit into the appropriate gap and that's when collisions and accidents happen. You'll always get plenty of signage in these situations. So use them well and try and look out for people who are going to be causing problems and lower the risk if they're trying to increase it. Now let's go back and think about the Range Rover Evoque and the police car. There was definitely some target fixation and they were probably more interested in not breaking the speed limit rather than paying attention to what was happening up ahead. But rightly so, the police officers used this opportunity to have a word. They've probably been running some checks over the last couple of minutes and also probably decided not to pull in where the roadworks were. But this is going to change. Nicely sussed out and sorted by my camera. only to be a fly in the wall with that conversation. Thanks a lot for watching everyone, and remember, in these scenarios, don't leave it to the last minute. See you next time.